My name is Diana Castori, and my sister Gina and I are the artistic directors at Dance With Me. Working with children and young adults has been one of the most fulfilling aspects of my professional career in the dance industry. The inspiration is so powerful, I don't think I could ever put it into words. The difference for me between dancing in this group rather than any other production is that there's only five girls, so I feel more connected with them. Here's my inspiration book. I have this one page that I really like, and it describes music to me and a rainbow. Well, my character's name is Malaysia. I went for a very unique name. She is 14, and she lives in an asylum in Michigan. I think the thing that makes this process so unique and special is the dancers. They make magic that turns dance into art. In this group, there's only five girls, so we really connect with our movement, and it just shows a lot better on stage, and we all have a really strong bond of friendship. So I always feel like when you're dancing in a contemporary routine, the feeling is really different. It's not something that you can kind of explain, but the way I see it is in a jazz routine, whether it's a large group or a small group, there's a power behind everything. So all of the emotion is kind of out there in the air, spreading throughout the audience. And then with the contemporary dance, I feel like the emotions are really spreading through the girls through the people dancing there's like a cord or like a string that's tying us all together and the emotions are flowing through that so it's a lot more raw and more personal it's really about storytelling and connections what you are saying through movement if i reach one person in the room mission accomplished So my character's name is Abigail, she's 16 years old, and she lives in Florida. Three words I would describe her would be scared, hopeful, and friendly. Right now is a very exciting time in dance because the opportunities are endless. Creativity is finally valued and recognized as an intelligent process. Telling stories through movement, setting up moods, and ensuring the entertainment standard is high, that's the real value in what we do. The story that I'm telling in this routine is that we're all in like a fantasy world or a dream and we're going through hard times, but we help each other get through them and find our fate and whatever we're looking for. My character, her name is Mystery, and she's like around 12, 13 years old. She lives in her fantasy world or her dream, and I would use three words to describe her as mysterious, courageous, and really determined. This process is so much deeper than jump, kick, turn. It's constant involvement of emotions that only read when we are able to drop all the insecurities that hold us back and allow ourselves those moments to expose emotion in ways that create powerful, passionate work. Dancing absolutely brings you closer as friends. You're spending all this time together in rehearsals and there's a level of trust that you have to build to be able to do lifts and you need to really get in sync with the other person so you definitely build friendships that way. I think it's something a lot of people don't realize when you're watching a dance or you go to see a show, you might not think about whether or not those people are friends, but you need to have that friendship and that connection to be able to trust the other person and to have that connection on stage. You can't tell a story if you don't even like the person who's standing next to you. I believe in the process, the entire process, training dancers to live the dance by becoming a character they create. 
connecting that character to the other dancers and then including the audience in those moments, that's pure enchantment. 